Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Welcome to today's video. I am so excited about today's video because today is not just any regular old TBR, okay? Today, I'm going to be talking to you about my March TBR, AKA my Realmathon TBR. Now, if you don't know what Realmathon is, get excited because this is like my favorite readathon of the year, okay? This is a readathon hosted by Cassidy from Covers with Cassidy and it is a fantasy themed readathon where there's different teams who all compete against each other and like basically read books to like up your team's points or to decrease other team's points. It's so much fun. It's such a great time. Every single year I've participated, it's always been a blast. And I am so, so, so excited for this year's uh, Realmathon. The Realmathon theme this year is a school theme or an academia theme. And there was some merch and I am repping my Judicium Academy merch today. Um, shout out to Cassie for making these great sweatshirts. Also, they're super comfy. Way to go. I decided to go with Team Creation, which one of the co-hosts for that is my best friend, Hannah, from Hannah's Recent Reads. I'm so excited to be on this team. We're gonna rock it. We're gonna slay. I am just, it's gonna be the best time ever. And I'm just so, so, so excited. I'm gonna leave all the links down below to Cassidy's channel and to the readathon announcement. But if you're interested, join Team Creation. We're gonna win. It's gonna be awesome. And I'm just like so freaking excited. So yeah, that's gonna be today's video. As far as talking about the books, I'm not gonna be talking about which specific books go with certain prompts. There's a bunch of different prompts for Realmathon and I honestly tried to sit down and like sort all of it out earlier and I'm just gonna honestly read the books and then figure out the prompts afterwards because many of these books can apply to a bunch of different prompts. So as far as the TBR goes, I'm going to be splitting it into two different segments. First segment is going to be the books that I absolutely have to read in the month of March. Second segment is going to be the books that I am interested in, but it's more of like a vibes TBR. You know what I mean? Like I know the vibes. I I want to convey over this next month and the moods that I'm in right now, but I'm not exactly sure which specific book is going to fit those vibes. So I have like a big list of books that I'm just gonna talk to you about today and just like give you the vibes that I'm feeling, okay? Also, you're gonna see a theme. There's a lot of fantasy on this TBR, okay? Cause that's the mood I'm in. And I gotta do what my heart, my soul, my mind, my body, my spirit is calling me to do. And that is to find another fantasy series that I wanna binge read, okay? I am in a massive book hangover after reading the entire Crescent City series and binging that series. It was honestly one of the best reading experiences. But now in the wake of that, I am a lost puppy trying to find another binge series to latch on to. So we're gonna be talking about a lot of first books in series in this video and let's just get into it. First book I know I absolutely do have to read is Lessons in Chemistry by Bonnie can't remember her last name off the top of my head. I don't have the book in front of me, nor do I have a physical copy of it, okay? Lessons in Chemistry is a book that was picked for my book club, not an online book club. This is an in-person book club with a bunch of random people and it's so much fun. Typically we've read like a lot of fantasy romance, but like someone suggested it and everyone was like, yeah, sure, why don't we give it a try? Lessons in Chemistry, honestly don't know a whole ton about it. It was just picked for the book club and I was like, Sounds good. But I think it's about a chemist who ends up getting a TV show and it gave very like Julia Childs like vibes that I don't know. This is just like what I've heard in passing too. I know it was like Barnes and Noble's best book of the year last year. It's been on like a lot of top lists and whatnot. And it was also turned into a TV show, which I think I have high hopes for just liking this book in general. It, I think it's a contemporary literary fiction type of situation. Honestly, I'm not even sure. I just know it's about a cookie show and it's about a chemist who's on a cooking show or something like that. I think it's going to be a fun time. I feel like I haven't read a literary fiction book in a really, really long time. So I'm excited to see what I'm going to think of it. I have the book on Audible um, and that's going to be how I read the book this month. So that is definitely getting read for sure. That is on the TBR. Next book I have that I know I am for sure going to read this month is Heartstopper Volume 5 by Alice Oseman. I think I'm going to save this for the weekend of peace talks because there's like a 48 hour readathon that happens within the month of March in the Realmathon like readathon. You get like extra bonus points for books that you complete in that time period. And being this a graphic novel, I think this is going to be a great pick. Heartstopper. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This series means the world to me, oh my God. This series is about Nick and Charlie. It is a graphic novel series, which has been turned into a TV show. They are two high schoolers who meet and then end up finding love. And it's just about their friends and their friend group and an overcoming like different mental health issues and just, it's just 
about being a teenager in a modern world and falling in love, okay? And like, truly, there's nothing better than this book series. I cried in the last two books that I read of this series, and I'm so, so, so excited to read this. I have a feeling I'm gonna cry literally just by looking at this cover. Like, I'm already in tears. I can't wait to read this. For sure gonna be reading this this month. Okay, and next one that I am very positively sure I'm probably going to read in this month is Throne of Last by Sarah J. Mass. This is a reread for me. Like I said earlier, I finished Crescent City and my heart is in shatters from not having a Sarah J Mass book to read next. After finishing Crescent City, it made me very inspired to go back and finish the Throne of Glass series. I have read up to Queen of Shadows and I an initially had wanted to move on to Empire of Storms after I had finished the Crescent City series, but to be honest with you, forgot literally everything that had happened in those previous books and I didn't feel right moving on to the rest of the series without having had the backstory. Also, I had my eyes opened this year to binge reading and after binge reading the Crescent City series, I have realized that is the only way I should be reading series from now on because I remember everything and I don't forget stupid stuff. So I started re-listening to Assassin's Blade and I'm almost done with it. I have a few hours left of the audiobook, but I know for sure once I finish Assassin's Blade, I'm going to move on to Throne of Glass. And then if I finish Throne of Glass, I'm going to move on to Crown of Midnight. But I'm just going to tell you I'm reading Throne of Glass this month because this is the one that I'm most likely going to read for sure, for sure. I remember I gave this five stars the first time I read it. So I'm just like so excited to read reread it. Okay, those are all the for sure books I'm going to be reading this month. Now let's move on to the vibes TBR, okay? And the vibes that we are calling this month is fantasy and fantasy romance. I mean... Are you surprised? I know one of my goals this year was to step outside of my comfort zone, maybe try a mystery thriller, but you know what? I'm trying to come off of the greatest book hangover I've had in a long time, and I just need to do what my soul is telling me to do. So that is saying restart another series. <laughs> so first book I have that is fitting in the vibes category is Miss Born by Brandon Sanderson. Now I want to read this and complete this series so, 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 so bad. I have previously read the first book in Mistborn and I loved it. I gave it five stars. I thought it was awesome. But then I did this cute little thing that I used to do that I'm trying to get over, which is putting the book down, turning into a shiny new release and saying, oh, Mistborn series, I'll get back to it later. I never finished the second and third books in that series which is honestly a crime. And I need to go back and reread Mistborn now to be able to read the second and third books in that series. So like I said, I read this back in like 2020. It was so good. I absolutely loved it. And I just need to reread it again so I can move on and like absolutely appreciate this series for the beauty that it is. And I need to fully be brushed up on my knowledge before entering into the last two books because I want to enjoy this reading experience as much as I possibly can. So if you don't know what Mistborn is about, this is a story that follows our main character, Vin. Vin is kind of like recruited to this kind of ragtag group of people who end up performing a heist and they're trying to like overthrow the leader, the government, whatever. You follow them as they try and like overthrow this government, but then also there's a really cool magical element to it where there are people called Mistborns who are able to wield metals to like give them magic and stuff like that. It's very interesting, really cool magic system. I know I'm gonna give this a five star, but like, I just want to reread it. And I would think that I could binge read this series pretty easily. So that is book one. Next book in the vibes category is we're still going with Brandon Sanderson. That is Tress of the Emerald Sea. The reason that this has sparked my interest. Well, honestly, this was on my last TBR Tinder and TBH haven't read a single book from that TBR Tinder. So I'm trying to rectify that situation. <laughs> one of my favorite booktubers, Katie Colson. If you don't know who she is, go subscribe to her. I'm going to leave her link down below as well. She puts out this incredible video every single year. Basically, she watches like hundreds of people's best books of the year of 2023 or whatever. And she put out a compilation video of tallying up people's best books of the year. And Trust of the Emerald Sea was on 2023's. Please go watch that video if you haven't yet. It's truly incredible. Like, like, honestly, Oscar-winning performance, Katie Coulson. When I was watching this video, they were describing Trust of the Emerald Sea, and I honestly don't know what the, much of what this is about, but as they were describing it, I got very intrigued. So it's, it sounds like it's about a woman, and she, like, lives on the sea or something. I don't know if she lives on an island, but there's, like, pirates and, like, ships and, like, humor. I don't know if there are mermaids. I don't know. It's just sea vibes and, like, that sounds cool, okay? I want more than anything to read like the Ship of Mad, like the Mad Ship trilogy or that like Ship of Destiny 
trilogy that's part of the Farseer trilogy or whatever. That sounds so cool to me, but I can't read it yet because I haven't gotten that far in that series. So this might fill that void of like reading a ship fantasy book until I get to that point. I really don't know what this is about, but having it be on people's best books of their last year makes me very hopeful I'm going to enjoy it. And also this is the leather bound copy and it's just absolutely gorgeous absolutely stunning may okay and my last book that's in the fantasy category that's giving vibes that could be a series i want to binge is jade city by fonda lee i have had this book on my tbr for literally like three years or so. whenever it first initially came out and the booktube community was raving about it that's when i put it on my tbr now i need to rectify this situation again I have had this book on my TBR for so, 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 so long and it's on my Kindle and I just need to read this book. Rachel from Ravenhaired Reader read this last year and she loved the series and it's just piqued my interest. I really, really wanna know what it's about. So I feel like I can put this into the vibe slash contenders list, okay? All I know about this series is that one of the major prized currencies of this world is Jade. And Jade, I don't know if it can like wield magic or like give people certain powers or if it just makes you financially have a higher status. I honestly have no idea but like I know that there's some kind of war revolving around Jade and Jade as the currency in this land and there's fantasy and magic um sounds cool and everyone really really loves this series like I don't think I've heard a bad thing about it honestly ever that one is another book could be Potench we'll see moving on to the fantasy romance category because duh I'm gonna be talking about fantasy romance first one I have that's giving vibes that I feel like I honestly like, I really do think that I will read this one, and I've been very influenced lately, and that is Iron Flame by Rebecca Yaros. Now, this is the second book in the Empyrean series following the following fourth wing which i read and very much enjoyed last year okay it awakened my fantasy romance girl fourth wing you know it's about a dragon rider i mean if you don't know what fourth wing is about at this point like are you living under a rock it's basically about a dragon like this girl who goes to school to become a dragon rider and there's like a little fantasy romance little portion in there and with our little zaddy zayden and it's just it's like me reliving Bella and Edward again. Like, honestly, that's how I felt when I read it. So I have been very influenced over this past week, okay? So my cousin, who I'm very close with, she just started getting into fantasy romance and she read Fourth Wing and Iron Flame, both of them within a week. And she like, literally something overcame her and she just is obsessed beyond obsessed with it like she is shooken after whatever happens at the end of this book and while i know many people on booktube and many people in the book community have given this less than raving reviews and say it can be a slog it needs to be better edited it's not very good it's like just what happened here compared to the first one. I'm willing to give it a try. Okay, I love Fourth Wing so much and I just need to go on and I need to know what happens to these characters and know what happens in the rest of the series. I know this ends on a really big cliffhanger and I'm just like really excited to see what that is and be emotionally wrecked again. I, I hope I'm emotionally wrecked. Like, please wreck me. Next fantasy romance that I think could be a potential is Heavenly Bodies by Imani Airy. Eru? I believe that's how you say it. Honestly, I'm not sure off the top of my head. This is a fantasy romance and it's been recommended to me by Hannah from Hannah's Recent Reads. I feel like I've been seeing it going around and people have been really liking it. All I know is that this is about gods, okay? I don't know if they are Greek gods, if they are made up gods. I really don't know. But these gods, instead of being like, oh, just watching over you, the gods, they are like actual people. And I think there's an enemies to ro lovers romance that goes on or something along those lines. I don't know. It's enemies to lovers. I love enemies to lovers. Give me an enemies to lovers every day and I will die. It's just gotta be a good enemies to lovers. You gotta have a lot of tension and build up. Um, and I think the gods concept is really cool. So interested in it? We'll see. It's like celestial and like, I feel like that could be a good vibe for this month. Okay, moving on. My next book that I am interested in, giving vibes, I really should be reading this one at this point is Red Rising by Pierce Brown. Now, have I included this book on no less than every single TBR I've ever posted on booktube? Absolutely. And here we are again. Um, why haven't I read it? Why haven't I read it? It's honestly a crime. Like the fact that I am doing this 
again. I learned a lesson over this past month, and that is when I read Court of Silver Flames, a book that people had been telling me to read for years, I loved that book so much. It became my entire personality. It is probably one of my favorite books of all time. Like, you cannot convince me otherwise. I love that book with my whole heart and soul, and the fact that I put that book off for like two to three years, criminal, okay? And I feel like I'm doing the same exact thing with this book. There are so many people who love this book. I've only met one person one person ever or know of only one person who does not like this book. I need to read it. I just feel like everyone on booktube loves this book so much and it's just I feel like I'm holding out on myself by not reading this. This is a sci-fi book set on Mars about the Reds. They are like a group of people who have been oppressed and they end up rising up against their government. It's sci-fi. It's set in space. It's not very long. Why haven't I read it yet? It's a crime. I need to read this. This should be my top priority honestly because I just feel like I'm going to love it and like I'm just just depriving myself of joy by not reading it at this point, you know? Last book I have here is a library book, and I'm just gonna throw this on the TBR. It's not giving as much vibes as those other ones I just talked about. Like, those are all ones that I'm really, really interested in and really hoping to get to, like, ASAP. This one, I'm honestly looking for more of an opinion from you on to whether or not I should read it. So I was perusing my local library, and I came across the Illuminae Files by Amy uh, Kaufman and Jay Kristoff, and I remember like way back when I think this was a pretty popular YA sci-fi on booktube like literally in like 2017 or whenever I had first started watching booktube I know this is a YA fantasy and from reading the back it sounds like there's a war of like over a planet and then like there are people who are trying to take the planet or something like that and like I don't know if there's some kind of file or like, I don't really know what's going on or like what this is it's like a mixed media format so it's not just like words it's like pictures and like cool stuff throughout the book. So it could be a really fun reading experience. Um, the only thing is, is that it's pretty long. Like it, look how long that book is. So I am looking on your opinion on whether or not I should read this. Like no harm, no foul. I just checked it out from the library so I could just return it if I don't like it. But yeah. Let me know what you think. Also, if you don't have a library card, what are you doing? I love Libby and I use Libby all the time to like get books onto my phone and whatnot, but I am so bad about going and getting physical books from the library, which is a crime. And like the fact that I love to physically read books, why am I not doing that more, honestly? Also, my library is so freaking cute. So please let me know on what you think about this, but this is kind of fitting in into the whole fantasy sci-fi first start of the series thing. All right, so that completes my Realmathon TBR. Again, like I said, said not picking prompts before I go into the month. I'm just going to read books and then like figure out the prompts once I've read the books. I think that's going to save me a lot of time and just like be a lot quicker on that end. But I'm so, so, so excited to start this readathon. You have no idea. There's like sprints that happen all the time. It's just such a fun time. Join team creation if you're interested in it and go check it out down below. Truly cannot wait. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have made it this far, leave a pencil emoji because we're going back to school in Realmathon this year and I will see you guys in my next video. Peace and love, everyone. Bye.